I play I play Sombra for like 10 minutes or something like that. It's pretty amazing to be honest. You have so much mobility, you have a TP, you have like uh, ultimate to cancel like all the abilities. It's it's really amazing. I think you can do a lot with that character. The character design is really cool. The accent's nice. I like seeing some Hispanic heritage in the game. I like the hacking. I like the EMP too, like removing shields. It makes for really interesting like combos. You can do like you don't even have to run McCree at, anymore. Like why would you? The SMG is pretty powerful. With 60 bullets. She kind of fits in, I believe, in, into the same role as May. Just like map dependent type of hero. I don't think she has that much killing power, but she she does have something that is very interesting where she's hacking people and that could just like literally shut down pushes before they even happen. She's gonna be pretty strong and I think I'm gonna have fun playing her because I love playing flankers. You can drop an E before you go in, in is in, silence someone, the silence works, your team goes in. If the silence doesn't work you can just get away so it's safe. So she's probably gonna replace like Tracer or Genji or those flanker type heroes. The invisibility is the one I don't like. I mean, I've never been a fan of the spell or skill. I think people are actually going to use the invisibility more for the speed boost than being invisible. If you get hit once by one Winston Zap, one Tracer Bullet, you immediately ends the cooldown. So I think it's more of a positioning kind of thing. I personally don't like it whatsoever, but that's really helpful to get into position and like to start a team fight. I don't necessarily think that she's gonna get picks. I don't. I don't see her as a flanker. I see her as a um, opportunist. She isn't like the spy in TF2, where he's like really volatile, where he can like wipe a team by himself just because like he got a little bit lucky with the invisibility and then his insta kill type of stab. Now Sombra doesn't have any insta kill. People are complaining about the invis. But you can just cancel it with like Winston's and like really easy ways to spam her and she comes out of invis. It's not like she's getting shot at and she can just press the invis button and get away. She actually has to like go around a corner and do it or something. Her kit isn't well versed to like really help her invis. Like she can't just like come out of invis and insta give you. She just has to track you with her machine gun. It's not like she has an ability that adds damage so I don't think it'll be that bad. Everyone's saying she's like broken, but like it's it's hard to find a spot to put her in. Like her ult's definitely way too good, and teams will realize how good that ult is, and it'll be like a problem. But her damage output's probably lower, or if not as good as like 76. So like she doesn't burst anybody. So like her kit's really cool, but her ult might just be so good that it doesn't matter if she does absolutely nothing for the rest of the game. So her counterplay potential is like really sick, but AOE silence and shield break at the same time, like. Throw an Anna nuke on top of that, just watch everyone die. There's a lot of problems, like that might be a problem in the long run. You kind of need to make characters a little bit OP, because you kind of want them to be used. But I don't think she'll be too strong. 60 bullets is a bit too much at the moment. Her health pack stuff probably might need to be toned down, because you can have like three health packs like out of the game for like two minutes. Her kit might be a little bit too strong. I'm not sure. Like I, ha like I need more time. Like from just like looking at it, I, I, I think that she's like looking kind of the same role as May, where it's just like she's just really strong in controlling a team fight. And if you do it right, then you like basically win the fight just because like you have that pick, and it doesn't matter what the enemies play really. I think she's probably going to be nerfed before she makes it to the live servers, but it's hard to say. So he he believes that this new Sombra is going to be the most difficult hero to control, but it is worth like, using the hero. I mean, they're going to nerf it if it's overpowered, so... I only play Sombra 10 minutes. I think it should be... Like, I think the ultimate is pretty nice. I don't think it's that that OP, at least right now. Like, like I say, we need to play it and see how, how it works, like how Sombra works, but uh, I think for now it's okay. Boop.